What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I have for you guys is the official Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer gameplay trailer. In this one, we have a lot of footage showcasing the entirety of the game, pretty much all the maps. You also see some hidden things like the new diamond camel that's coming out. You also see some brand new operators, some brand new utility use, kill streaks, and so much more, which we're going to be discussing in this video. But right now, let me just roll this trailer for you guys so you guys can watch it while I cover this. But if you find this video informative or helpful, consider hitting that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. I do plan on posting quite a few different things. Expect more Modern Warfare 3 related content to go up later today. But anyways, let's go ahead. Let's talk about this brand new multiplayer trailer that we have received. So this is around a two minute long trailer that we got and they uploaded a little bit earlier in the morning and it's sort of like a little teaser before we get into COD Next because COD Next is going to be bringing actual live gameplay for us. So they decided let's go ahead and show them the multiplayer trailer instead. And this multiplayer showcases pretty much everything every standard multiplayer does. It shows you the maps, the different features, the new gameplay, the operators, the kill streaks, the style of the game. In this case, considering Modern Warfare 3 is bringing back all the OG maps, they're trying to showcase all 16 iconic maps and show you how they look now in this brand new quality version. They also end up showcasing some things like a little bit of in-game gameplay for like a couple seconds just to show the slide canceling a little bit and then it just continues on with the rest of the trailer. So this is a two minute long trailer. I'll go ahead and let you watch it for the first time before we end up breaking it down and go into the actual details because we got quite a few details. Not only did we get the standard modes and maps, but we also ended up getting a little tease or showcase at the brand new war map because there are gonna be bigger ground war based maps that are also going to be coming in as well but anyways this is the first time as you see the trailer you may miss some things but let's go ahead let's jump back into it go over the details that you may have missed so one of the very first things that i notice is the brand new operators that's one thing that they showcase you see that there's quite a few new milsim operators that we didn't see in modern warfare 2 that is something that people requested a lot of they wanted to see a lot more milsim operators considering that it's modern warfare 2 a lot of people were saying that they were going to be bringing in realistic operators operators and the game was going to be filled with them it didn't end up having as many milsims as one would want the good news here is you already see quite a few of these milsims you see shadow company ones it may be the same one that carries on over forward or this might be some new variants i think you may also see ivan and nolan in here and then on top of that they're also showcasing other new operators and cosmetics that you get from like the vault edition and maybe some other things that you might get in a season one battle pass or might just be available through like campaign missions or things like that. So these are all different operas. They even show some new cosmetics and new weapon blueprints, which I don't feel as, as important when it's showcasing a brand new multiplayer gameplay trailer, but those are the things to look forward to. And I do believe Bob Network ended up posting a leaked photo of brand new Milsim operators in the menu, which I can't show for copyright purposes, but you probably end up seeing the same one here in the trailer multiple times. But these are the new operators that you can sort of expect towards the beginning and at the launch of MW3. Also end up showing Makarov. They showed this masked guy quite a few times. It seems like he's one of the main characters in the, in the thing. He's like one of the first people they end up showing in the trailer. So he might be a very important character. Also show some standard takedown moves, nothing too crazy. And then they also show a guy getting back up. In a ghillie outfit, I also ended up seeing quite a few other operators. One that looked like a jug, but he was also shooting a regular weapon. So this might end up being an operator skin. And then there was also one with like a guy who looked like he was uh, straight out of a plane. Some other things that they ended up showcasing are new kill streaks. So the very first one, which I feel like is the biggest one, is the EMP is now back. And as you can see, it causes a huge explosion. It even takes down that airstrike at the top. And it just, yeah, it's a pretty big kill streak. I'm probably going to be towards the end. And then another thing is they ended up showing like some sort of like a small drone or something like that. That's also something else that might be a brand new feature. You can see that they like throw it in the air, it just flies off. Might be some other hidden ones that were shown in the trailer that I may have missed out on, but I do know that they are gonna feature a lot of brand new kill streaks as well as they're gonna be bringing back some old ones like the precision airstrike that we ended up seeing as well. Then on top of that, there's obviously the brand new weapons that they showcase. We have different shotguns, different ARs are being showcased, different pistols, obviously some ones that we've seen already in the past coming back uh, with the carry forward and all that. But yeah, there's a whole lot of different things. You actually see the HUD for like one split second. They show you actual gameplay footage and it's just to show you the slide canceling feature that is now available. And then it's like a little one second showcase of what it will look like in game. You also see that that they show the yellow XP icon. So that is from like MW19. Everyone loved that. They ended up changing that in Modern Warfare 2, but 
but they decided, you know what, let's go back to that. And that's something else that I guess they wanted to show here in this multiplayer trailer as well. And once MW3 and Warzone get integrated together, everything is going to go into Warzone, whether it's the movement changes, the brand new weapons, you have the yellow XP text, the slide canceling, all that is going to move into Warzone. So for those of you guys who are watching this trailer, not even interested in purchasing MW3, it still will impact you in the Warzone side of things. Now, one thing else that I also wanted to showcase is the fact that there are mastery camos that are going to be available in MW3 and one of them being diamond camo, which they show for a like split second. But I'll go ahead and show that to you guys. This is going to be one of them. So diamond, obviously, it wasn't in MW2. I've seen this in multiple cards as mastery types of things. Usually it was the gold, then you would get diamond and then you would get some sort of like a galactic type of looking camel that was usually the pattern that we saw in most cards but in mw2 they changed that they had the polyatomic they had platinum they had gold and this time around it seems like we're getting diamond there might be some other ones but they don't show them here in this gameplay trailer at all so those are some other things to look forward to but what are your thoughts and opinions on diamond camel being something that you're gonna grind for there's a slight chance that maybe this isn't gonna be an actual grindable mastery camel because they end up showing a red variant and a blue variant as well and that could indicate that maybe it's a pre-order bonus or it might be a part of a bundle or it might not necessarily be a mastery reward because I don't understand why they have the blue variant and then they also have the red variant. So we're going to have to wait and see exactly what that is. But I honestly can't imagine what other mastery camos they would end up putting for completing challenges and completing things that would look decent other than diamond camo being the iconic thing that Call of Duty has always had around. But I'll let you know what happens and as you get more information on that. But what are your thoughts and opinions? Would you want to see a diamond camo come in as a challenge reward or would you prefer to see it as a blueprint? or something else anyways the next thing that they ended up showcasing was the new war map which i believe is called launch facility they end up showcasing obviously the brand new tank you can see that you have a ghost operator flying in then there's the operator you see the brand new map it's sort of i thought at first like it probably was like a war zone map or something and then i remembered obviously it's a multiplayer trailer only so it's going to be a new war map that we're going to be getting which has been leaked previously to be releasing in the game at some point so that's what we have another thing that i noticed is in the beginning there was like a new firing range gunsmith type of location where potentially maybe you can edit and adjust your different weapons you can play in that area before the game starts sort of like a small little menu or little area or waiting lobby that you can be in i'm not exactly sure but they end up showcasing this as like one of the first introduction things so this could potentially have something to do with multiplayer in itself anyways what are your thoughts and opinions on this trailer do you think that this is a good one are you excited for it and do you think this is going to be a great game but anyways i will keep you up to date as you get Get more information expect more videos to go up on the channel later today but anyways that's all that i got for you guys in this one it's been your boy trizzo hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace